Your DNA is more than just a set of instructions that makes your eyes brown, your nose large, and your feet small. It can tell a very interesting story of your past. Because we all get half of our DNA from our mom and half from our dad, and this pattern has been going on, well, forever. The DNA that you walk around with every day has been up to some pretty amazing things. It may have constructed the Great Wall in China, scouted out the site for Machu Picchu, or sipped chocolate in Spain. We can learn about all of this gallivanting because DNA changes over time. That means that people who have lived in a certain region over hundreds and thousands of years start to develop a DNA signature that represents that place. Does your DNA tell you you're 17% Italian? That's because your DNA has a handful of itty-bitty changes that only people from Italy carry. These changes are very, very old, so that everyone from Italy has a few of them. To tease this story out of these DNA markers, scientists gather a bunch of people whose ancestors consistently come from the same place. Then they look for patterns in the DNA that are associated with specific ancestral places. This happens for various groups all over the world. We then look for these characteristics in your DNA. Of course, this process is not always so straightforward. Some populations just plain stayed put, blocked in by huge mountains or large bodies of water. Others in places like modern-day Germany and France had few natural barriers, and so there was more interaction with their neighbors. So your DNA is going to be much better at telling you about some populations over others. Remember, the DNA percentages you see at different testing companies are estimates, not hard facts. In fact, asking your DNA to tell you where you are from is a bit like asking the weather person if you should take an umbrella on your walk. Both of these questions have to take into account huge amounts of different kinds of data that changes over time. Because of these changes, the estimates you see today will likely be a bit different than the estimates you see next year. Each time new data is acquired by our companies, it is fed into a powerful calculator of sorts, not just once, but many, many times. These are such complicated questions with so many variables that no matter how many times you run the same data, you may get different answers. Both the weatherman and DNA testing companies take all of this data to give you the answer that is most likely according to their particular calculator. But there are other answers that are possible too. So when you receive a DNA test result that doesn't make sense, whether you see places you have never heard of, or you are missing places you know should be there, Remember that your DNA is only part of the story, and that story may change over time as more data is gathered. Plus, these maps and percentages you see are only one kind of DNA data that can tell a story of our past. Other kinds of DNA markers tell us more about our recent relatives within the last 10 generations. These larger blocks of shared DNA can tell us about specific people that we are genetically connected to which you may be able to trace on your family tree. As companies begin to leverage a combination of other people's DNA and genealogy, your DNA may also connect you to more recent historical events that influenced human populations, like the Irish Great Famine Migration, the settling of Appalachia, or to founding Africans in the Caribbean. So what now? What does all of this have to do with you today? Perhaps as you are going about your day today, you will remember that you are more than just the you of today. Those percentages don't just indicate connections to vast swaths of land with rolling hills or harsh deserts. Those numbers represent connections to real people, your people. You are a completely unique composition of the lives and experiences of all the people who came before you. So it's time to learn about them. Time to find out who is behind that where in your DNA. So ask a relative, find a picture, or explore your genetic homelands to find out what life was like in that place. And remember, if you're wondering if you can hurdle that next challenge or climb that next mountain, you can. Your DNA has already done it.